Okay, let's look at this now. So, we're going to write some pseudocode or going to write an algorithm. And figure five shows the start of the algorithm. Very important to realize this is the start. Output enter the 24 hour number, 0 to 23. Hour equals user input. So it asks the user to enter a number between 0 and 23. And we'll later see that it's an integer which represents an hour using the 24 hour clock. And the input is stored in a variable called hour. So this is your initial situation. Then we, you're asked to extend this algorithm using either pseudocode or a flowchart. We will use pseudocode, but the reasoning is the same. So it outputs the equivalent time using the 12 hour clock. Or, and so, i.e. a number between 1 and 12, followed by either a.m. or p.m. So you have to be somewhat familiar with the 24-hour clock and the 12-hour cl clock. You enter something in 24-hour time and you output it in 12-hour um, time. And then it says, for example, and it gives you here four situations. Now, or rather four statements. Now we can make an intelligent guess. If it, give, if it gives you four statements, perhaps you have to write in your algorithm, you have to take into account four different situations. It is only an intelligent guess, as it turns out it to be, it does turn out to be the case in this case. So if the end user enters zero, the program outputs 12, followed by AM. If the user enters four, the program outputs 4 followed by AM. And if a user enters 12, follows outputs 12, PM, 15 entry, outputs 3 followed by PM. So you do, you will need to read this question a few times with intense concentration to understand it. And then make a sketch of the situation. So input and output. Let's model the four scenarios. If there's an input of zero, you output 12 a.m. If you put in 1 to 11, you output 1 a.m. to 11 a.m. From if the user enters four, the program outputs four, four followed by a.m. So we sort of extrapolate. So we have situation one where you input zero, output 12 a.m. Situation two, if you input numbers between 1 and 11, you output between 1 a.m. and 11 a.m. Situation three, if you input 12, you output 12 p.m. User enters 12, program outputs 12 followed by p.m. Situation four, if you enter 15, say you enter 3 p.m., 20 23, 11 p.m. If you enter 14, it's 2 p.m. So it's 12 minus what you input. How do we write the code? If hour equals zero, then print 12, print a.m. That's situation one, isn't it? L if, let's see what we do for situation two. If hour is less than 12, then print hour, print a.m. Print hour, print a.m. Else if, situation three, if hour equals 12, then print 12, print p.m. Else if, situation four, hour equals hour minus 12. Remember, if you enter 15, get 3 p.m. Print hour, print p.m. End if. So really, the uh, code you write is relatively straightforward. But the trick is to interpret what the question is asking. Now, it is worded in a rather tricky way. You do have to read it a few times. You do have to make intelligent guesses from the way that it is worded, and you do get, get clues. So the battle is to inter learn what the question is actually 